generally, the way I work is this. I usually see something, and then I go and I take a sketchbook, and I try to figure out what, what it is that attracted me. And so that's the first step. And then, and then I use, um, quite a bit of the time I use, I definitely use a camera, and, and it, if it's a, a lot of times you're in a situation, in cities particularly, where you can't really work outside anyway. I start, start with the subject, and then I, and I usually take bunches of photographs, and then take them back, and now I can use sections on the computer and stuff, and try to work out a composition. And then, and then after that, let's say I finally make a decision about exactly where things are supposed to be. Um, uh, then I go ahead and uh, put a grid pattern on. And that's an old method that goes back to the Renaissance. Uh, there are, there are, uh, and th sometimes it's a real tight grid, and sometimes it's kind of a loose grid, like maybe divide it in half, and then divide it in half again, and then half again. Uh, but it depends on, on I'm, not, I'm not after accuracy in the same sense. What I am trying to do is to get the composition to work, just so I know where things are. And then as far as layers go, uh, some t usually, usually I do a uh, limited value painting uh, in a neutral four color palette, earth colors, and then so, and then work over it, and then, and then work over it again. So most of the time I paint, I have, have been painting on uh, very fine Belgian linen canvas, and it's worth, getting, it's worth getting stuff that's fine, fine grain, because, uh, um, and, and uh, I also sometimes have painted on, uh, on board, which is good. I've, I've uh, uh, done things mostly, I have done acrylic and, and also some watercolors and printmaking and so forth, but mostly this is a straight uh, oil painting because oil is still, I think, the most versatile medium there is. Of course, photographs have been used as, as long as there has been the camera obscura and as long as, the, and so the use of photography goes, the equivalent of photography goes back at least to the Renaissance. And, and, uh, and but there's a, there's a lot of, in the general public's mind, they think, oh, well, a painting, you shouldn't be using photograph. Well, actually, what's happening is there's a, a long relationship, and it's pretty important to go back to that idea that photography is not reality, but it can be fascinating. I'm doing images, I, long before doing this, where I'm taking a section of an image on the computer and having it on a screen and finding all these things that you didn't think about. So if I'm walking down the street and I'm trying to make a drawing, well, I'm getting a different feeling. When I make a drawing, it's like a, it's like a detailed exploration. So, you so if you draw, it's complicated, it's difficult, and you try to get the feeling of it. Whereas the ph photograph gives you a whole lot of indifferent, doesn't make any evaluation. It basically gives you a bunch of information, okay? So to use that information is what, is what uh, this really is, is all about.